First career touchdown for Charles Mitchell, the sophomore from Clarksdale, Mississippi. His second interception of the season. There was a nice shot of Dana Holgerson, the offensive coordinator on the sidelines at Houston, just calmly talking to his quarterback and saying, listen, look at the flow. You can see these screen passes. These guys are reading and reacting. You see that much flow. Just throw that football into the ground. Tyron Carrier, his second kickoff return of the quarter. He's got good speed trying to get to the edge. Runs out of room. Good return out to the 37-yard line. I'd be real curious to see that first hit, that first impact for Tim Tebow tonight. Pitch it out, Charles Sims. Not much running room. Chris White jumps on his back after a pickup of three. And that's an excellent view. I talked earlier the difference. When Case put that ball right on Tyron Carrier's chest and allowed him to run, that time that throw was low. You saw Sims stumble, and that breaks down the timing of that swing screen. Mississippi State alternating defensive linemen. Two freshman Fletcher Cox has checked into the game, wearing number 94. He's at right end. Man in motion goes to Sims. Another quick pass. Rock, these are all just basically just right at the line of scrimmage or maybe a, a yard past the line. They're just extended run game. That's all it is. Doing your sweeps, getting your running backs the ball out in space. If that was a misfire there. They motioned the back out. Houston had four on two to the field. Surprise the case threw that ball back into the boundary. There's a good shot of Dana Holgerson cut his teeth with Mike Leach in that Texas Tech spread system. Third down at five. Pressure again on. Keenum has to throw it up. And it's caught. Chaz Rodriguez with the big grab. 37 yards on third down at five. Biggest play of the ball game for the Cougars. How about that throw? Watch the pressure right in his chops. They run more blitzes right up the gut. Case has the ability to feel that, still launch it 45, 50 yards in the air, right on stride to his big play receiver, six foot two, Chaz Rodriguez. Former walk on, big time catch on third down. Bryce Bell inside the 10, still on his feet, down to the five. He's a lot stronger than he looks. Just 5'11", 209, but he runs hard. You can see Mississippi State trying to attack the football in the red zone, trying to strip that ball out. Bell does a nice job with ball security, pushing the pile. First and goal. The give, Bell again, and this time stopped at the line of scrimmage. I love along with K.J. Wright on the stop. I think Sean Ferguson playing a little bit of that 3-4 defensive end also shot through the gap there. He got just enough of the feet to slow down the play. Jordan Shoemaker, 73 for the Cougars is down. That's a big deal. Shoemaker, one of their better offensive linemen. He in the center, Carl Barnett. And the other guard, Chris Thompson, probably the strength of Kevin Semlin's offensive line, the middle three. And it looks like often these plays come to those guards and just rolls up on the back of. Right in the back of Jordan's legs. Jordan, one of the more veteran. The two tackles, very, very young. Houston had to replace a second round pick. Last season at right tackle, you're starting a redshirt freshman in Jacoby Ashworth at left tackle. Jordan, a redshirt junior, has played a lot of football. His 27th game, 11th start here. And with as much screen passes as you see in draws in this 3-4 defense today for Mississippi State, that is a big loss, Eric. Those guards out in space trying to make plays. He's replaced by Jared Anderson, kid out of Anchorage, Alaska, the only Alaskan on either roster, not surprisingly, in today's game. Anderson just a junior. Second down and goal. Cougars will try it again. Blitz is on. Keenum has his pass batted down. Batted down at the line of scrimmage. It'll bring up third down. And I really like this plan from Carl Torbush. Oftentimes, you'll see defenses try to run these zone blitzes, and you're running 
nickel defenders and linebackers from outside the box. Very obvious plan today for Mississippi State, and that is get pressure right up the gut. Don't waste time. Try to get right in the face of Case Keenum this afternoon. L.J. Castile checks into the game for Houston. He wears number 10. He's wide left, and a timeout is called before the ball is snapped. Mississippi State calls the timeout. Carl Torbush, former head coach at North Carolina, wants to get uh, a better read on what's the possibilities here. One thing about Dan Mullen I really liked was the staff he put together. He talked about, yeah, I know the offensive side. I hired Les Kenning to call the plays. And you can see Dan Mullen there, very obvious. He's in communications with Carl Torbush throughout this game. There's a shot of Kenning on the left. You can see Torbush. They're having a conversation right now. Dan Mullen very involved in this defensive side as well. And he said, listen, I'm an offensive guy. I wanted to hire a head coach, defensive coach, and he hired a good one in Torbush. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, don't go to sleep on the Razorbacks. Bobby Petrino's team going to figure it out eventually. Put up some big time points. Keenum with the blitz on, throws back to the end zone. Touchdown, James Cleveland. Big time play for Keenum. Stood in the pocket and threw an absolute strike to Cleveland. We've seen it twice now, both on third downs, one deep down the field. And here's what a veteran guy does. You know what you do? You just buy a little time. You buy a little time and you allow your receiver on that strong safety. Okay, they got the one-on-one -on -one matchup with Charles Mitchell. Receiver, strong safety, matchup, win, victory, Houston. Jordan Manisto, extra point is good. So the Houston Cougars, after giving up that pick six moment ago, Case Keenum gets the seven right back. He finds James Cleveland back of the end zone for a touchdown, and we're tied at seven. The nation's leader in total offense, Case Keenum, throws his first touchdown pass of the ball game. A nice pitch and catch to James Cleveland back at the end zone. And two really fine plays on third down. That's where quarterbacks make their money on the road. At every level, high school, college, professionally, you settle down momentum. Yeah, Mississippi State won a couple times. They got the interception earlier. They've hit him. The jersey is dirty. But standing in the face of that pressure on third down, Making the deep play down the field and the execution there to buy time and hit his veteran receiver Cleveland to the back pylon. The punter, Chase Turner, kicks it off. This is short kick. Starting at the 19 is the freshman Chad Bumpus. And Bumpus is corralled at about the 34 yard line. One of the nice things within this scheme, and it is Mike Leach and Hal Mummy that Dana Holgerson learned from, you try to get those matchups. You try to guess right. This is a guess right for Houston. He anticipated, did Dana, the blitz coming from the Bulldogs, and he